That is Sugar Land and All I Want to Do on Today's Country, 103.5 WEZL Charleston. Looks like uh, it's going to be another hot one. We'll have the weather for you here in just a second. Right now, we got uh, the the dog ladies here the from uh, lady. from Pet Helpers. Lauren. Yeah, that's dog right. Whisperer. <laughs> Lauren's here from Pet Helpers. Good to see you this morning. Good morning. Always a pleasure. And uh, you've got Phyllis with you this I morning. Have Phyllis and Phyllis. Came. <laughs> She's a little uh, terrier mix. She is long bodied uh, and short legged. Not that short, I guess. Not dachshund-like, but hey, um, more like Jack Russell short. And yeah. then her long body. She came in actually before <laughs> Christmas originally. She came in with a litter of nine puppies. Oh, and goodness. you're looking at them going, who's the daddy? Because they don't look like her. Um, <laughs> and actually, I've seen them more recently, and they really are starting to get that longer body. It's like the older they get, the they're longer their is body right? is. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. they're cute. She's, um, you know, she's tan-colored. Um, with a dark muzzle, dark tipped ears. Um, she's, look, she's lovely with people, mm. not great with other dogs. She actually is really good in families. She's had success with that. Um, unfortunately, other animals were involved, and she just needs to go to an only, only pet home. How old do you think Phyllis is? Four or five years old. Yeah, oh. that's what I thought, too. And she has that bark, which you might have I just lo- heard. I oh. love that little muffler. Exactly she's got like that muffler said, bark. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. When you go into our dog, uh, dog kennels, you hear her bark. And you go past her cage, and she's, like, showing her teeth when she barks. It's like she barks and her lip lifts up. Lip lifts up. Um, but um, she's never bitten anybody. She's never touched yeah. anybody. So, Yeah, what right. Sweetie. Except Gary. We're going to make Rick yeah, the first person. I don't think she likes Gary very much over there. But, uh, she's ready to go, though. She's, she's funny, though. Yeah, she is ready to go. All the puppies are gone, of yes, course. Yes, they are all gone. Always. They were cute. Where did you get the name Phyllis? What kind of name is that for um, a dog? We well, when we get in litters, especially, we try to have themes. And her litter, including her, uh, was the office. So we had oh, okay. a Michael Scott. Okay. And we had a Pam. I got you. And Phyllis. <laughs> hey, baby, come here. Got to get those names from somewhere, don't you? Oh my God, we <laughs> just had ends. we just had a litter of kittens get adopted that were Panasonic, Nikon. Fuji. <laughs> That's great. That's great. You know what? You gotta have a. You That's gotta. Right. You gotta keep the spirits up. That's but a, it's really funny because our animals, when they send them into foster care, they come in. We give them a name, whatever. Go to foster care. The parents, the foster parents, usually rename them. Sure. And they come back and they go, I don't know where they got that name. That they blah blah blah. <laughs> that they are in the system. And I'm like, well. You, you got to get it from somewhere, right. and yeah, it's just it. the name. That's and right. <laughs> so, I uh, are are you guys doing any fundraising this time of year with all the heat, or is it pretty much just trying to take care of what you got right well, now? Well, we're trying to take care of what we got. We're trying to do a ton of offsite adoptions, so we're taking yeah. animals to you, um, trying to keep them inside. Right. This weekend, we're going to be um, at Tractor Supply Company in Ravenel on Saturday. Also, Shellmore Village in Mount Pleasant on Saturday, and then Petco in West Ashley on Sunday. Good deal. So you don't have to make it to the shelter. However, we are open seven days a week now. So if you are in the area, stop by on Sunday. We've had success so far getting um, quite a few animals homes on Sunday, so it's quite worth being Are your open. hours the same, or are they different No, 12 hours? to 4. 12 to 4 on yeah. Sunday. And now, uh, you know what? This would be a great time to go ahead and get that uh, spay or neuter done, because school's going to crank back up here yeah. in a couple of weeks, and you're going to get busy, and then you're going to say, we'll do it later. Yeah. Do it now while uh, while the kids are still home, and they can kind of keep an eye on things while you're And we make appointments Monday through Thursday. Yeah. Um, you can call anytime, though. You, what you do is you make your appointment, you bring your animal by at 8 o'clock in the morning, sign them in, we get you all set up, pick them up at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Take them home. By the next day, it's like nothing happened. Yeah, they're up. They're and so going resilient. Yeah, that's great. And um, especially the younger, the better. If you can get it before that heat cycle, yep. um, young males. Um, and then I don't know if people realize, but because we actually completely remove the ovaries and the uterus, and then you know the male parts. Can we talk that way in front of Gary? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Gary doesn't like that kind of trashy talk. Well, it actually eliminates. They they have zero chance of getting ovarian cancer. That's true. Or testicular oh, oh. cancer. That's right. That's right. <laughs> You're sticking the camera in her face. Yeah, oh, oh. That's like, right. Phyllis. That's exactly like me or cameras. <laughs> That's what Keith Urban did the other day in Nashville when that guy stuck that camera in his face. Yeah. I would do it too. Yeah, there you We're go. We're all just animals. We're all just wild animals. Hey, if you need uh, if you need to get your animal spayed or neutered, need some more details about pet helpers, you want to check Phyllis out. I love her bark. Yeah. Uh, go to pethelpers.org she, or check them out on Facebook. She's as well. our resident old lady right now, and she needs a good home. There yes, you go. Does. Good to see you again. Thanks. All right, Thanks, bye. Lauren.